Hello and welcome to Wilcom's video short series for Embroidery Studio E4.0. Today I'm going to show you how to import in a design and add some text in the lettering program. As we're going to start here, I'm going to navigate up to my file drop menu. I'm going to scroll down to choose Import Embroidery. I'll go to my designated location and open my design up on my screen. As you can see, uh, the entire design is selected. Um, if I left click off of it here, and if I try to click on anything uh, independently, uh, if I want to click on the outline here to the sale, if I select it, uh, it's going to select the entire design. Okay, um, the lettering program does not offer uh, the editing portion of it, which, uh, which is very important. Uh, because you never know when um, you get a design in. It could be a Dakota collectible, any type of machine file that you get in. If if there's an edit that you need to do to, for that particular design, uh, it's going to be uh, difficult to do it with just a lettering program. Um, I recommend uh, at least getting the editing program because with the editing program, you can at least uh, go in and you could uh, modify uh, stitches in the design and things like that without having to send it out uh, to get it done okay and so right now if I go in and if I choose my reshape tool here it will let me know that the reshape is not available in the lettering program okay so I can't go in and edit anything uh, on the screen here using the uh, design that was imported in okay um, I can go in I can right click and I can add text can scroll and grab a font city script create text I can place my text on the screen if I don't like that font of course I can go in and I can change that font to a different font style and you have a list in here to choose from you see if I can grab a uh, brush fire. Go. And with the brush fire script, I'm going to go to my connectors. Make sure that I am inside the object because I do have a Wilcom font on the screen. Make sure that I uh, add my trims where necessary. And I also want to make sure that my tie in stitches, the tie in stitches are your stitches that initially go in when the needle. Uh, connects to the fabric it has to put in some lock stitches in the beginning uh, to lock the stitches in the fabric and so that's what the tie-in stitches are you're going to make sure uh, you want to do an after trim or color change you definitely want those in and if the previous connector before it is greater than two millimeters you want to use that tie-in stitch what you also have to do as well is click on the down arrow here and choose the tie-off stitch also and make sure that it's activated because it has to tie off at the end or it will unravel and that's not a good situation if you've ever seen that happen before um, if you want to save the settings that you uh, modified here you can just click save here on the bottom and you want to save it to lettering just verify and you're gonna click save again because you want to save it also to other objects on the screen as well and just acknowledge and it'll save those settings for you. Again, as far as modifying uh, and editing the uh, entire design, uh, you're limited. You're not going to be able to do that with the just the lettering program. And uh, as I said earlier, I do recommend at least getting the editing program so that you can have control of editing minor things with the designs if you bring them in and they need editing without having to send them out and to pay to get those done if they're fairly simple to do it you can actually do those yourself with the editing program that's going to do it for uh, this uh, short I thank you for your time and as always we ask you to join us at www.willcomeamerica.com thank you